Good afternoon, Liberty family. We are pre-recording for Saturday, December the 26th, 2020. It's time for my weekly segment of Finances, Affirmations, and Prayers. I'm Reverend Catherine, Associate Pastor, Liberty Community Church, where the pastors are the Reverend Doctors Ralph and Alika Galloway. We typically meet here every Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you wanna make sure to keep up with the segment, please follow us at the Liberty Community Church PC USA Facebook page. There you will be alerted when we're getting ready to come on and you can take part in our other ministry offerings. You can also see the segment at the Catherine Langford YouTube channel. Please subscribe today. Um, so this is a little different um, this time because uh, this is pre-recorded um, and what I do each week is I do one of the affirmations that I share on finances affirmations and prayers I do one of my affirmations on Instagram and I put a little commentary around each of those affirmations so what I'm going to share with you this week is six of those affirmations um, so that will be coming up next and then next week I'll share the next six affirmations with you okay all right I hope you enjoy on the first day of Christmas I affirmed my God shall supply all my needs with all that's going on in the world and the uncertainty it gives my spirit and my heart joy to know that I can trust that God will supply all of my needs. On the second day of Christmas, I affirmed, God, I'm grateful for all that you have provided and I have room for more. I love this affirmation because it acknowledges what God has already done and it puts you in a posture of being grateful and it leaves you open to receive more to receive more of what God has for you, to receive more of the good that God wants for you. And hopefully it also means you have room to receive because you've gotten rid of some of the old stuff that's negative and doesn't serve you anymore. God, I'm grateful for all that you have provided and I have room for more. On the third day of Christmas, I affirmed God, you have unlimited resources, and because I belong to you, I have access to all of those resources. I love that affirmation because it acknowledges that God has everything we need. I think we sometimes forget that God created the universe and therefore created all the resources. Because we're God's children, we have access to all of those resources. When our money gets tight, we may think that we don't have or won't have all that we need, but we can walk boldly in the affirmation this week that says, God, you have unlimited resources, and because I belong to you, I have access to all of those resources. On the fourth day of Christmas, I affirmed, I am intentional and consistent about saving money. This affirmation deals with our intentions and you get what you intend. For us to be intentional in this area, we may have to set up an automatic transfer from our checking account to our savings account for a specific amount of money to reach our goals. When you couple your intention with consistent action, you can reach the goals that you set forward. This is true in every aspect of our lives, even for our financial journeys. I am intentional and consistent about saving money. On the fifth day of Christmas, I affirmed, I honor my ancestors and the generations coming behind me by exercising my right to vote. We've all heard that our ancestors fought, bled, and died for our right to vote, which is true. Because of the sacrifices they, that they made with their bodies, we have the right to vote today. But I also want us to think about the generations coming behind us, our children and our children's children. They will live with the implications of our decisions for future generations. They will have to live with the impact and or the consequences of our decisions long after we're gone. 
I honor my ancestors and future generations coming behind me by exercising my right to vote. On the sixth day of Christmas, I affirmed. I don't really have an affirmation this week. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> like many of you, I've been waiting for the uh, results of the election. And as many of us have COVID uh, stress, I've also had election stress. I have not had a really good night's sleep since last week. So I'm just gonna leave a few words with you. I want us to be intentional about saving money, be intentional about eliminating your debt, and be intentional about creating wealth. Because once you're financially free, it doesn't matter who's in the White House because you're still okay. Be intentional about saving money, be intentional about eliminating debt, and be intentional about wealth creation. Blessings. Okay, well, that is the first six uh, affirmations. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I hope you will tune in next week to get the remainder of the affirmations. Um, what I would love to say is this has been a labor of love. I've learned so much during this process. And from the finances, affirmations, and prayers family, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Amen. We will see you next week. Thank you.